Hello and welcome back to Telly Smoothie Club. Today I'm going to be showing you everything I've well, it's going to be my bi weekly watch pile part two for December. Okay, I'm going to start off with the films that I have on physical media that I've watched, and then I'm going to go onto my phone and um, tell you what I've watched on streaming. The first one up is A Haunting in Venice. Now, I did really enjoy this one, it was much better than Death on the Nile, but I I, you know, I still like all of them, you know, and I'm going to have to now read the book to this. Um, I believe the book is called Halloween Party, so I've got to read the book for that. Next one up is Saw 10. Watched this the other night, loved it, great film. I can see what everyone was going, you know, raving about it. I look forward to Saw 11. Hopefully it's the same sort of standard as Saw 10. And then we've got Queen live at Montreal, I believe. And has bits of Live Aid in it. Fairly good. I turned it up to 11 and it was great. The next up is Prom Night. Uh, love this film. Great slasher. I, you know, first time watch. And I, I just, I had the blast with it. And then the final um, physical media Blu-ray release I have is... Um, oh, what is it? I can't remember what it's called, but it's this one. Uh, not as great as, you know, I probably wasn't in the mood to watch this, so I've got to rewatch it and hopefully I'll like it better. But I got like about an hour, an, an hour plus in and it wasn't, you know, keeping my attention really. So I've got to rewatch that again. Now I'm just getting into my phone. Uh, the first one up is on streaming that I watched is on Prime and it was Kinsabian Live at the O2. Oh, I also did watch Titanic, but you've probably seen that, you know, in a, in a, in a last video. I watched on iTunes the Taylor Swift The Eras Tour. I watched it about four times. Uh, really did enjoy it. You know, I wasn't much of a Taylor Swift fan before I watched it and then obviously... I watched it four times, I'm listening to a couple of her albums, and I do really like it now, so. Oh, th that film was Happy Birthday to Me, yeah. You know, so I've got it noted down, and yeah, it was okay, but it just wasn't keeping my attention, so I'm going to have to watch it again. And then Pink, The Truth, um, The Truth About Love, 2014 DVD. Again, that's in a, a couple of my other videos, so that's why I haven't shown it, because you're probably getting sick of it now, so. Uh, I watched on DVD as well, uh, The Prodigy Worlds on Fire tour. That was good, I liked that, but it was only about an hour long, so. Then uh, Pink Funhouse tour, again, I believe I showed you that in the previous video. And then on Christmas Eve, you know, I watched uh, Shrek Forever After. It was on TV. It was on Channel 4. You know, I'd only seen that once prior to watching it. So seeing it a second time when I'm a bit more grown up, it was actually all right. Not too bad. And then obviously I watched Talk To Me on 4K because I got it for Christmas Eve, a Christmas present from my parents. I have shown that in the previous video. Again, another DVD that I've shown, uh, Pink Greatest Hits. I believe that was the music video slash a couple of clips of live concert. I showed you that, I showed you that. And then I watched the, the first 60th special of Doctor Who. I've got to watch episodes two and three and then the Christmas special. So I, I watched the first episode, really did love it. I thought it was, you know, very fun. And then yesterday, uh, for New Year's Eve, I uh, had my parents round, um, and we watched Tremors, you know, because I can't get enough Tremors films at the minute, so, yeah, that was all that I watched, you know, for part two of uh, my bi-weekly watch poll of December. Um, sorry, it's a bit all over the place today, I am quite tired, um, there was a ton of fireworks going up my area last night slash early this morning, so I didn't sleep all that well. Anyway, take care. Hope you have a great 2024. Bye.